welcome everyone uh, once again to my channel today we will talk about xflr5 how to guide uh, series the part four uh, about transition prediction so uh, before we really start with the transition prediction uh, let's start uh, or talk uh, about some few words about different types of flows available so on the right side you are seeing an airfoil surface uh, and uh, the flow is divided into three parts you can see there is a laminar flow and then a transitional flow and the turbulent flow. So the transition flow, which is of interest at the moment, it is a flow which occurs uh, above uh, critical Reynolds number. And uh, it is a flow which oscillates randomly between laminar and turbulent status. Okay. So um, in XFLR5, uh, what kind of different uh, approaches uh, are available uh, this we will see now later on so xflr5 is uh, um, has offering two different approaches uh, one is the free or the natural transition prediction approach where we will use uh, uh, the critical number based on this e to the power n theory and uh, the other approach is a fixed transition prediction if you have a data available in in an airfoil you can fix or you can force the transition to uh, occur at that specific point. For our transition prediction tutorial today, I have chosen an S809 airfoil. It's a very popular airfoil and uh, the description of the airfoil is also mentioned here. And uh, if you see the sketch of the airfoil, it's, it's a kind of a really thick airfoil and it's, uh, it is really having a turbulent flow. And uh, you, if you are interested, you can also find the experimental data mentioned here. And the geometry, you can find it from airfoiltools.com, which is a very, very handy website to get the coordinates. Um, anyways, I will also mention this uh, in my uh, description section, so you can also get it from there, right? So I will um, do a Reynolds number of 2 million, and uh, later on, we will compare our results uh, of transition prediction from XFLR5 uh, to the experimental results, okay? So, um, and the process will be the same as we have done in all last part, uh, three parts of XFLR5. So I would say uh, now we will uh, start uh, with our tutorial. So here you can see once again in the design foil section of XLR5, the airfoil, this is the geometry of the airfoil and the, its geometry, the contours are looking really very smooth. I have chosen 200 points to do the simulation. And once we are happy with our airfoil design, we, you simply go to the airfoil analysis. And I have already done uh, the analysis for three different polars, meaning I wanted to study uh, for the transition modeling, like for the free or the natural transition modeling based on the e to the power n theory. Um, if you are also interested, you can uh, go to the X-Foil manual or in other literature, find that, uh, what how it, this method works. But I have used different critical numbers to study the effect and compare the results with experiments. Okay. And uh, if you have uh, a data available for fixed transition, you can also use the location, uh, tripping location on the upper and the lower side of the airfoil. But we will be studying just uh, the natural transition phenomena here. And you can see I have... Uh, done for the same Reynolds number, three different critical numbers, N critic it is called in the tool uh, to just uh, see the effect of these, um, uh, effect of these uh, critical number on the polars and transition location. Now it can be seen much uh, clearly. I have just changed the colors. If you zoom in on the desired uh, plot, for example, this is CL versus the transition location on the top surface we can see that um, changing uh, by changing the critical number, there is a slight variation in the results. Also in terms of uh, lift in the higher lift um, coefficient area, uh, there, is, uh, there is a change, uh, mostly when you also go to higher Reynolds number uh, and uh, higher critical number, sorry. So if we uh, now select a one of our polar series for the critical number, let's say if we select the one um, which is, for example, even the default one, which is always nine, crit n critic of nine, and you can see the value um, at this angle as, uh, approximately the lift coefficient. And um, if we now go to or the same angle of attack or to another 
there we can see that there is a variation in the lift coefficient and also there is a variation if you really go down on the transition location so the upper transition and the lower transition xflr5 is telling you based on the e to the power n theory the transition location okay so now if we also go to some smaller angles of attack uh, we can also see um, the effect of n critic in terms of pressure distribution and also you can see the difference in the transition location as i am mentioning uh, i hope you can see this cross here uh, with a mouse and if we go now to the higher angles of attack one can see the um, how it really changes uh, the transition location by going for higher angles of attack yeah so now if we go to another angle higher angle of attack we see that um, by changing the angle of attack going to higher angle of attack the transition really comes to uh, coming really fast to the upstream uh, region so it's coming near to the leading edge yeah which is uh, which can be seen uh, quite significantly here and um, if we now compare uh, the results with the experiment um, as i already mentioned uh, in the start uh, in my uh, in the initial slides you can also get the experimental data available from the mentioned uh, link and um, we can see that in terms of lift coefficient or now also in drag coefficient uh, the results are very good except at higher angles of attack okay so now this is the slide uh, for the transition location uh, comparison with the experiment uh, here i have chosen to plot uh, the uh, our analysis data xflr5 results with two critical numbers one with 9 and the other one is 15 so the top surface is shown here with a solid line and the bottom one is with the dotted line we can see that um, for the lower surface the results are really in good agreement and on the top surface the one with the default value of critical number is has uh, is really off so the one with 15 is showing good results so that's it from now don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel stay tuned for new incoming videos thank you